Well, tonight, an update on something that happened nearly two weeks ago, the total solar eclipse. That afternoon, workers at the Akron Zoo, they studied how the eclipse affected their animals. Now, tonight, they shared their results with News 5's Maya Lockett. During the eclipse, the Akron Zoo participated in a citizen science program called Soundscapes Eclipse. The animals were recorded two days before and two days after the eclipse to see if there would be any changes to their behavior. To be able to be part of a cool study that hasn't a study that hasn't been done in probably over 100 years um, is also really exciting. Akron Zoo's education mission manager Cassie Bassett says this kind of study has not been done since 1932. The program also included guests and staff who were able to do observations during the day of the eclipse. It's important to know how an animal reacts to what's going on in their environment and that helps us understand our planet more. The program involved animals that have never been studied before, like grizzly bears. We found that the grizzly bears actually woke up, like shook off their nap and like kind of looked around all confused, like, and then after totality passed, went back to sleep. As well as coyotes. Our coyotes did wake up um, shortly before totality and they started um, running around maybe showing a little agitation as well. And they um, were also reported as looking up into the sky, kind of like maybe in confusion. And people at home were also able to record their observations of native animals. These native little songbirds like darted into the bushes and just like, I mean, in a big group and as fast as they could, like they were going to sleep for the night, like dark surprised them. And they were silent during the the eclipse itself, which is funny because our songbirds call here even after dark sometimes. Many people were excited to see the flamingos because in the past, they were seen huddling to protect their babies. Our flamingos actually showed a little bit of like agitation. So they were just hanging out doing flamingo things. And then they started becoming more vocal and alert and were actually kind of moving around more than normal. Another observation the zoo recorded. The temperature dropped 12 degrees during the eclipse too. Zoo volunteers say they are hoping this experience will attract more kids to science. We're all interconnected. So I hope that they study either astronomy more or they get more interested in conservation and how animals and conservation work together. Bassett says they are still waiting to hear back from Soundscapes to see if there were any additional observations before or after the eclipse. Maya Lockett, News 5.